and jump off his bridge. People do it all the time. And <laughs> Just look, look at what I've put up with in this country. That is freaking disgusting. That is so feral. Oh. Just finished an early morning workout. I don't always carry a flag. After my workout, I'm just putting the flag out. I heard a great quote yesterday. It was about maturity. It read something along the lines of, Mature people will take action and do things based on decisions they've made, not on their feelings. So uh, I certainly didn't feel like working out this morning, but I've decided I want to be fitter and stronger this time next year. You won't believe what I get to do again today. Second time in two weeks. You won't. I'm so lucky. You won't believe it. Oh, no worries. It's moving day again. So happy. We moved out of our townhouse. We stayed with family for two or three weeks. Now we found a new house, so we're moving again. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully for the last time in a long time. It's a really nice place, though. I'm excited. Very excited. In our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. moved in which is good movement moved, moved in really well the house legit but um, I won't show you the house but I will show you the area the area is incredible so our house is right there somewhere and uh, right across the road here we've got a beautiful waterway got a park for carriers to play in and swinging got the basketball net a pretty legit little area but uh, let me show you our neighborhood from the skies. The Gold Coast gets a bit of a bad rep, doesn't it? talking to uh, my friend Anya and my friend Jackie in particular here <laughs> but um, people think it's cheap and nasty they think it's pretentious they think it's got no character and I think maybe it's because they land here and the first place to go to is and you come straight here don't you to surface paradise Look at this place, it's just crawling with tourists. People absolutely everywhere. And um, I don't know, it's really the backside of the, of the Gold Coast. It's the, I don't know, the anus, if you'd like. Um, and there's so many better things you can be doing than coming here and spending your time. So I might come here once a month for an hour, mainly to spend time with the time zone, which is massive and amazing here. But other than that, I try and avoid this place. So come and stay at my house and I'll show you around and we'll do some pretty cool things come to snap a rock at Rainbow Bay, do some surfing, do some whale watching. We're definitely stopping at Corumban Wildlife Centre, feed the crocodiles, the kangaroos and the koalas. We will stop by the Corumban Surf Club and have a beer right there. And while we're here, we'll run up Elephant Rock to look at this beautiful view.
come to Grumman Creek and do some paddle boarding. I got some really good drone footage here the other day. Have a look. to Talabudra Creek and jump off his bridge. People do it all the time. And um, we can do some more paddle boarding as well if you want to do that. We can come to Burley one morning, watch the sunrise. Look at this beautiful footage I got on the drone the other morning. Again, I keep saying we can surf, you can surf if that's what you do. I can fly my drone and film you, or you can teach me how to surf. We can have another beer right here at the surf club. Just look at all these people having a picnic. We could do a picnic. Come have a play at the pirate park. You could borrow someone's dog and come and hang out with the dog people. The lamb shop will most certainly come there a couple of times. Followed by a little bit of Max Brenner. We'll definitely go to 7 Eleven and grab a Slurpee together. I'm a bit of a coffee snob, and uh, one thing I've been really impressed by um, here on the Gold Coast is the amount of great cafes there. So I've done a little trip up, up the coast, um, dropping by my favorite cafes, best coffees. So here are my recommendations, if you come to the coast, stop by these places to have your coffees. Barefoot in Palm Beach, best coffee. Canteen in Burley, best coffee. I take that back. Borrow Barista, Burley, best coffee. Paddock Bakery, best coffee in Miami. Biscuit Cafe, best coffee in Nobby's Beach. Bam Bam Bakehouse, best coffee in Mermaids. Grocer and Grind, best coffee in Broad Beach. Nah, actually I take that back. Elk, best coffee on Broad Beach. Okay, that vlog took me way too long to uh, film today, so I'm gonna call it a day there on the vlogging. Um, I'll take it easy on the Gold Coast day. It's a beautiful place, just look at it. It's got all the best things that nature has to offer. I know there are a few people that might be a bit different, you know, with fake this and fake that, and steroids this and steroids that. But uh, they might look different to you, but they're not that different at all. They're great people, it's a great place. Just don't base yourself on service paradise. Come and stay somewhere between Broad Beach and Burley. Or come and stay in my house and uh, come and enjoy the coast sometime soon. Much love and see you next week.